Hello everyone and welcome to our Zen Estimate Steel modular profile structure. So what we've done here is taking our entire Zen Estimate Steel library and we've broken it out into eight individual profiles that give you specific material types. As you can see here, we have channels and angles, cold form stock, hollow steel, hot rolled stock, miscellaneous steel, plates and sheets, structural railings, and W and L shapes. These are all available for purchase individually and as a total package. So if I were to just click on the first one here, our channels and angles, you can see in our chest right here, I can expand these and every single profile and tool chest has both count objects and linear measurement tools within it. If I were to select any one of these channel shapes here, I can use a count object for my columns. And I can also use a linear measurement for my beams. As you can see below, I have my markups list with all the detailed information that I need. Size and weight can still be adjusted with our drop down menu. This will give us our total tonnage. And from here, we can put in a price per ton, which will then give us a total cost for our material. The same thing applies to every single one of our profiles. So we can change over to cold form stock. And within our cold form stock, we have cold form flat bar, cold form hex shapes, round shapes, and square shapes. Again, with the same markups list data. We also have hollow steel. We have rectangular shapes in both beam and column, count and linear measurements. We have our round shapes and our square shapes. We also have hot rolled stock, flat bar, round, square, and strip. Next, we have miscellaneous steel, which will include your connections, rebar, and threaded rod. After that, we have our plates and sheets, which includes base plates. And the base plates have area measurement tools, so you can select for various areas. We have steel grading, also including area measurements and linear measurements, steel plates, and steel sheets, utilizing the area measurement tools. Next, we have structural railings, which include rectangular railings, round, and square. Finally, we have W and L shapes in both count and linear measurement types. Included with these individual profiles are all three of our column structures for quantity takeoff, installation, and paint and insulation. The default for each one of these profiles is the quantity takeoff column structure. However, if you did want to switch between them, the process is relatively simple. What you'll do is you'll go to your markups list dropdown, select columns, and then go down to manage columns. Here in our prompt, you will select custom columns, import, and then select the specific XML file for the column structure that you need. Again, the default is quantity takeoff. However, if you wanted to do a takeoff for installation, all you would have to do 
is open up the installation column structure, hit OK, apply it to the document, we'll hit OK again, and now you can see in our markups list we have columns for material, labor, equipment, length, weld size, and bolt size to include for our installation. The same thing goes for paint and installation. So if we wanted to load that column structure, all we'd have to do is go to our markups list, columns, manage columns, custom columns. Again, we import the XML file for the column structure that we need. If we want to use the column structure for paint and insulation, all we have to do is select that one, hit OK. And now you can see we have columns for paint and insulation. And that is our new modular structure for Zen Estimate Steel. If you are interested, please check out our website at zentechconsultants.net. Reach out to us and we'll be happy to help.